So we at uh, CS 2012, and uh, you're Dan Kui. Yes. From Viewlink te Technology. So what do yes. you do? What do I do? Well, we make uh, a wearable headset with integrated camera and viewer, but it's a smart device in that not only can you, oops, sorry, not only can you stream um, and record video locally, but you can also stream it to the web live uh, to a web portal that we also have where your friends, family, anyone you wish can view it, can communicate with you, and they can see exactly what you're doing. In fact, you can pop open a street view, a map view, and they can see where you are, where you're traveling to on the map, and they see the video that you're streaming at the same time. So what's in here? So what is in here is this is a complete smart Android device. It's basically a complete tablet that's built into this device. So one of the things that you can do, for instance, if you'd like to, if you'd like to browse the web, you can simply put this on and put this on. You can put this in your pocket, get it out of the way. Then you can pull open your cell phone, and now you can use your cell phone to control our Android smart device. And I can completely see what's going on. I can move, I can scroll the menu, I can browse the web, I can do emails, I can even play video games and stuff. You don't want to play video games on the monocular. You'll want to take the device off and dock it with a large screen TV or a projector. And since it's an Android device with Android market enabled, you can download video games and anything, and anything that's on the market, and you can play those. So the nice, the nice thing about this whole concept is when you're alone, you can record video of what you're doing or you can stream it to the web. When you get back to your room or with your friends, you can disconnect the smart controller, you can sit down, you can share your videos of the day, or you can do emails, browse the web, play video games, whatever you'd like to do with your friends. So you're, so you're using technology to expand the social interaction. So here we are using, uh, what do you call it, Bigify? Well, Bigify is a software layer that's built onto our, our um, controller, our Android controller. It allows us to take our, our controller yeah. And you remote control, now it's connected? Yes. So, MHL. so this has <clears throat> this has the Bigify layer in it. And what it allows us to do uh, is through um, MHL USB connector. To the HDMI? It allows us to go to HDMI yeah. and plug into lar uh, projectors or large screen TVs. So what's nice about this is that the user can share his experience now that from being out shooting video all day, can shoot video. So it, it basically this, this box only has... Uh, MHL. That's correct. And a micro SD slot. Micro SD slot, SD card on there. It's and Wi Fi and Bluetooth enabled. No other connectors, no other No slots. other connectors. Okay, so that's super simple. And then you can remote control with any Android device? Any Android device. Yeah. And, and soon iOS as well. Right. So basically, you, you, you can do everything in the Android through that, kind yeah. of? And that's using a, a remote controlling kind of functionality, right? It's not mirroring. Right, no. This is running a very thin client, the Bigify thin client. Only data is passing back and forth to our Android controller. The Android controller okay. has all the games on there. So the phone is not uh, being overloaded on its processing. The phone is just used to be a remote controller. That's correct. Like a cool one with all kinds of... That's right. Like right. a augmented remote controller kind of. That's right. And you would use the same Bigify kind of protocol if you want to remote control your, um, what do you call it, um, while, you, while you're wearing it. Right, that's right. Yeah. So if you, wanna, if you want to use the, if you want to use the headset, yeah. right, and you want to browse, if you want to browse the internet here or look at emails, you can use the Bigify unit to actually manipulate the, the windows here as well. So it works portable and it works on the TV. That's correct. All right. Okay. One of the things we've done is we've made sure that the device is left or right eye compatible. So here it's left eye. We can unclip the viewer uh, camera, and we can then move the cover. It looks and like a mini USB. It's a mini USB. That does video. That does video and audio. And now it's configured for right eye.
So if you, if based on the which dominant eye you have? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So here we can see that uh, it's the camera is uh, is right here, and it's uh, showing the video in the display. Which is uh, what type of display is this? This is an 800 by 600 uh, Symbian display. And with a camera and display integration, um, obviously one of the near future um, uh, applications is virtual reality. So what, what type of display is it? It's not LCD. It's, it's LCOS. LCOS. Yes. So it's not LCD? It's not AMOLED? No. No. It's something else? It's something else. And uh, how, how broad uh, and available is this technology in headsets? Are there many? I think we are the only one so far that's uh, yeah? using LCOS technology in headsets. The only one? Yeah. Because uh, the LCOS technology is actually more commonly used in uh, Pico projectors. So this is, uh, we try to miniaturize it and put it into our headset. So is there something about what's called refresh rate? Is it just because of the prototype or is my camera is showing something that the eyes wouldn't see? The refresh rate currently now is 30 frames per second. That is the actually what yeah. the eye can actually see. So you probably have to do with your camera. Yeah. So it's, it's not going to blink like that with my eye, right? No, it's just no it, what, you won't yeah. see that in your eye. Our eyes refresh yeah. at only at 30 frames per second maximum. So how's the quality compared to LCD micro display or OLED micro display? For LCOS micro displays, actually the lighting is uh, much more vivid. So you get more bright, brighter colors and uh, better color depth and a crispy, crisper color display. So, so you, you don't have see, the yeah. ambient issue, you don't have the ambient light issues that you have with some of the other technologies. No ambient light issue, and uh, what's it called? So right now, I mean, the full Android is going to be right inside here, right? That's yes. correct. And uh, is there any motion detection going on in the headset or something like that? Uh, it's just a display? Not in this one currently. Not, not this one currently. So it's just a display, and to control, it will be with this or with the phone? phone. Yes. yes. All That's right. correct. So what's it going to cost, and when is it going to be available? Well, we're, our business model is an OEM business model. Our targeted cost for this whole system, Android controller and all, was around one ninety nine. One ninety nine for the whole the whole thing package, the little box, the head mounted, right? Everything, right? Even the app, even the apps, even the app to do the Bigify. That's correct. All right. How soon? Um, production is scheduled for March. March. So. Two three months, yeah. you start. Uh, you would want to sell this all over the world. Yes. And uh, basically, you just get the app. If you want to stream to Ustream, you get the Android app for that. If you want to stream to Google Plus, you get the Android app for right. that. Or use our web portal. The web portal, which yes. is uh, Android app as well. Or what it'll is be it? the web portal will be a complete site built for social networking for our users. They'll be able to do things like while they're wearing the headset, a friend comes up to them and says, "What are you doing?" And they can say, well, I'm streaming video to my private page on, my, on this website. And if you want, yeah. here's my QR code. Scan it. It'll give you access to my private page. And you'll be able to see the streaming video that I'm currently sending. And uh, that, that portal is on the web. It's That's not, on the web. It's not, no, 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 it's not, but it's connected with the Android as well. Well, so it, it's an app. It's a right? website. It's a website. But there's an app running to update it. Right? It allows you to stream yeah. video. Is a video flash player running? Um, it has full Google Maps running, so you can you can go to Street View. You can see where the person yeah. is. You can actually follow them as they're moving. So there's GPS. Um, the GPS information comes from the cell phone that it may be transmitting the data through. Okay. So if you tether to a cell phone, it'll get through the Wi-Fi. It'll get the positioning and send it along with it. 